Before starting BNI, he was a high school teacher for eight years. He formerly ran a training and recruitment firm where he discovered that cold calls sometimes did not work and getting business was not as easy. It was during that time, trying to figure out what else to do, that he stumbled across a former student, Mr. Vishal Shah, who mentioned BNI and then introduced him to Mr. BJ Shah, the current national director BNI in the United Arab Emirates. He took that opportunity to bring businesses together under the BNI franchise. He has conducted over 400 training sessions for BNI members in areas like trust building, referral generation, presentation skills, and leadership skills, among others. During his free time, you will find him cooking, motoring, farming, and traveling. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Elizafani Muraguri, the BNI National Director for wow. Let us stand up and welcome Woo. himself, the man oh himself, my God. Mr. Muraguri. Karibu. You're welcome. Karibu sana. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, ah. <laughs> you can say that again, man. No, let's give him a hand clap. Let's give him a hand clap. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, we look forward to your inspiration. But before that, you have to have a dance for us. Yeah, let's go. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, welcome, welcome. Karibu sana. Hands clap, hands clap, hands clap, hands clap. Yeah. Karibu. Mike Tess. Good evening. I'm tired of good morning. For those of you who work late at night, this is good evening. Great to see you all. Do you remember your first day in MS, I mean, in uh, BNI when you're told to stand up, introduce yourself? And did you feel like the way I'm feeling now? Brutu, boom, 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 boom. Your heart beating first. The eyes are looking towards you and you're like, will I be talking or will I just be fumbling and shaking? That is how you feel. How many of you would like to be on stage? Not me. So this is not money. It's not Juju. I am energized. I started with Rolex, Katogo, Chikomando, <laughs> and I'm energized. Yes, a great day this morning, and I'm glad to be here. I'd like to start by practicing what is give us gain. I've seen so many people in the construction industry, and where I live, there's a, a lift being constructed all the way to 18th floor, and I looked at those guys, they come in, they go, they sleep between one and two, and they are tired. But guess what? When the building is complete, they will not be allowed in. They will be told, where are you going? Whom do you want to see? Do you have your ID? Can I start by recognizing our dancers? Ladies, come forward. Thank you. Please make use of that pen and remember BNI. We appreciate you. I'd like to recognize anyone in the room who is over eight years in BNI as a member. Over eight. Let's start with uh, Tanzania. Fazel Abbas, my height. Salam alaikum. This guy, I started BNI in Tanzania with that man, and he's still taking care of BNI members in Tanzania. 
an amazing man, Fazel, an amazing man who texts me at 11, but I've taught him I work 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Thank you. I'd like to recognize BNI members in Uganda who we started BNI with. Mark Karamira Karijisa, please stand. Who else? Who else from BNI Integrity eight years ago? Yes, Ranjit. Anyone else? Kiwanuka came, Grace Kiwanuka came later. He was invited by another invitation by another visitor. Yes, who? Dr. Steve, Dr. Steve the dentist. Thank you, thank you. You may sit. Ranjit came to my co group in Uganda, and I had about four people, and I was so excited to be in Uganda. Then he said, You know, I've been in BNI in India. So you finish the core group, I'll join when you launch. I know everything about BNI. And I was like, why did you come then? And he has been there for eight years. And more in India. Ranjit, congratulations. And Kenya, who was with me when I started selling hope? If you are a member in Kenya over 11 years, please stand. Anthony Jenga. Anyone else? Yes, Mike Chalo. Great. These are the people again who believed in me when I started BNI in Kenya. And above all, I want to appreciate those of you who have decided to join this organization. You're not buying hope. You're buying more than hope. You're buying collaboration. You're buying efforts so that you can make more money and change lives. When I started BNI, another mentor I, that I had was Niraj from Kenya, who started BNI in India. Niraj left Kenya and went to start BNI in India. And I kept on calling him. And my first meeting, I called him, Niraj, I only have one person in the room. He said, it's OK, Moragori, go ahead. Even invite the waiters in the room. <laughs> then I said, wow. He showed me how to be positive. So do not give up. If you're new as a BNI member and you're very new, do one-to-one -one with others. Get to know. If you see other members hugging each other, wait, your chance is coming. <laughs> because trust takes time. Then eventually you become part of the group. So I want to talk about the seven R's in BNI, R for rainbow. And I want, to, I want us to participate, of course, not debating. I would like us to work together and discover these R's in BNI. This is the best time for you to use your pen and your notebook if you have any. So, who can guess the first R in BNI? That's why right here. The first one. Why do people join BNI? <laughs> referrals. So, the first R is referrals. Without referrals, then you don't see any opportunity to join BNI because you join for money and money comes through referrals. But when you give a referral, your R is at risk. What is R? When you give a referral, your R is at risk. Reputation. When I refer you, it's my reputation at risk. And as a former teacher, I've given you an answer to the third R. When you give a referral, your reputation is at risk. What is the third R? Risk. <laughs> and when you get a referral, it is your R to follow up. Responsibility. When I give you a referral, I'm not supposed to escort you. It is your responsibility to get the result done. And if you do well, then you earn R in return. You earn revenue or you earn reward in return. These are the R's in BNI. We talk about them, but come to think of it. If you, cons if you go through those R's, referral, reputation, risk, reward, responsibility, if you are to take care of those R's, then you're going to make money. But above all, T must be involved. What is T? 
trust takes time. Trust takes time for those of you who are new in BNI. And today when you're networking, before you declare your intention, before you, uh, uh, sorry, before you earn trust, when you're networking this morning, declare your intention. I would like to know you more. I would like to get to know you more. What do you do? And please remember, let's not farm in the room. Let's hunt in the room. But there's one R that is going to form part of my presentation this morning. Without this R, the other R's are dead. Responsibility. I mean, sorry, relationship. You are sitting here because you want to form relationship in Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. Did you know that your relationship with others will affect your life positively or negatively more than you can imagine? Your relationship with others, it's either positive or negative. How many of you have enemies? How many of you have enemies except me? I have many enemies. That's a sign that you're a good leader. You must have a list of enemies who don't like what you say, who don't like what you tell them, because they know more than you know. Relationships will give you the true meaning to your life. Without any relationship with anyone, there will be no meaning in life. I want you to imagine, alone in this room, the only way you can imagine you're alone in this room is you close your eyes and you imagine there's no one else in the room. I want you to imagine yourself alone in your house, in your vehicle, in the ocean, in the desert. So this is my question. If you are alone, would you sing? Would you sing? Yes or no? Who would hear you? You're alone. Would you compose a poem? Yes or no? Who's going to read it? You alone. Would you paint a picture? No, because nobody's there to see. There will be no one to watch and listen what you're doing. So relationships mean a lot. The above hours cannot happen unless there is relationship. In BNI, relationships will give you an opportunity to transform other people's lives through positive and structured word of mouth. What if we add one of our core values? Positive attitude. I say positive attitude is contagious, just like negative attitude. You decide where you want to be. We get the opportunity to transform our lives through positive feelings and thoughts. When did your positive feelings start this morning? Some in the bathroom? Others in the traffic, others when they came here. The more gratitude we attract in our relationships, the better our lives we transform. However, the reality is that nobody exhibits positive attitude all the time. It requires energy. How many of you have felt low in one or two moments? You felt so low, but you didn't want to tell anyone. Open your hearts. How many of you have gone through that, where you feel so low, but you have to rise up and say, no, I'm not going to allow this. Reality is that nobody exhibits positive attitude all the time. In fact, it calls for deliberate awareness to do so. Our thoughts and actions attract and repel others based on whether the thoughts are positive or negative. Right now, there is Million and million of thoughts going through all these heads. Is your thought this morning positive? You choose where you want to be. So think about this when you're going to be an eye meeting. When you're attending a B and I meeting from your house to the venue, do you think about other members? Do you think about the kind of relationship that you're going to build that morning? And what about the Zoom? Do you think about other members, as you move from your bedroom to your laptop, referring each other, do you refer with confidence, with joy and love, or do you refer to tick the box? When you're doing one-to-one, -one, 
Do you do it using the gains profile or do you do one-to-one -one as you pass by? <laughs> and your daily communication nowadays is through WhatsApp. Whatever we think about our chapter, our members and our leaders is what we attract in our relationship. You cannot have thoughts of dissatisfaction about your chapter and then you expect to enjoy a relationship filled with joy, love, happiness, and money. You can't. So let me share with you things that you can avoid, seven things that you can avoid when you want to improve your relationship with your fellow BNI members. And this is going to be practical. One, did you do open networking? Did you notice someone who has low self-confidence? Yeah? It's like they have been sent to represent their own business. So lack of confidence, that can make you less attractive. Lacking confidence can make you unappealing to others. If you believe in what you do, if you believe in your business, then you need to show confidence in what you do. Another one, sorry for this, poor hygiene. Neglecting your personal hygiene, such as not showering, <laughs> not brushing your teeth, dentist can be a major turn off when you're trying to build relationships. Being rude or disrespectful to others can make you seem unapproachable and unattractive. Interrupting others as they talk. Did it happen this morning? When the two of you were talking, then someone came and said hi without even waiting to see what is it that you're talking about. And it's going to happen throughout the day. Interrupting others while they are speaking can make you seem inconsiderate and disrespectful. Being self-centered, me, myself, and I. Always talking about yourself and not showing interest in what others are saying can be a major turn-off. So the question is, this morning, are you interested or are you interesting? What's the difference? You're interested, that means you show concern. You are listening. Interesting, you are cartooned, making everyone look at you so, because you like to be honored. You like limelight. So choose one this morning. Do you want to be interested or interesting? Being negative, always complaining, whining about the weather. It can be draining and appeal appealing to others. It is important to be aware of these bad habits that make us less attractive and address them to improve your attractiveness to others. Now look around your table, look at the guys around you, and find something that is so good, that is so attractive to you, and let them know that, yes, whatever your, your tie is beautiful. Looks like there are so many things to be attractive. Okay, if you can hear me, say shh. Thank you. I hope nobody, okay, I hope nobody asks you, what's your number? <laughs> Remember, saying thank you goes a long way in keeping and building relationships. Words are not enough but something more tangible can create culture of positivity and reciprocity. Equally, the more love you have for your fellow members, mankind, the more loves come to you and the more amazing your life will be. Whatever you give, love, gratitude, kindness, will surely come back to you. So I would request all of us to embrace the feeling of love, gratitude, this morning and the whole of this day, and guess what? You'll be excited at the end of this convention. I would like to thank Diana and all the members sometimes who call on me and ask me, are you okay? Because I also go through my moments of feeling low.
Thank you very much.